Good afternoon. I'm Mike Preeze, one of your Dauphin County Commissioners, and I'm joined today by Commission Chairman Jeff Haste and Tim Schaefer from the Fish and Boat Commission. And we're here to talk about some of the exciting things taking place, not just here at the Great American Outdoor Show, but some of the great things are going to be happening coming up here as we enter the spring months here in Dauphin County, uh, in our local streams, out on the river, and the th great things to see and do here in Dauphin County. And Tim, if I could turn it over to you right now you and give us an update on some of the things that are happening. Sure. So uh, we're really happy. We just uh, released our trout, trout stocking schedule for 2020 last Friday. So if you're a trout fisherman here in Dauphin County, um, the schedule is out there for you to identify which stockings you'd like to attend. Um, right around March 1st, our trucks will start to roll. Um, if you're interested in joining one of our stockings, visit our website, fishandboat.com, or our mobile app, which is Fish Boat PA. And you can literally see every single stocking that we're doing, find out where the meeting spots are, find the species that are going to be stocked. So from Armstrong Creek to the Middletown Reservoir and everywhere in between, between they're all listed here for folks to see. And, and I heard you say about people who want to help out. Yes. So if someone want, does want to help stock, how do they Absolutely. go about doing that? Um, thanks for asking that. So all of our stockings are open to the public. Anybody can join us. Frankly, we couldn't do our job without it. So all you need to do is find out, um, find out which one you're interested in, identify the meeting location, identify the time, and come join us. So you can come on your own. If you've got a group of scouts, someone from a senior center, or say on a Wednesday morning, something like that, anybody that wants to join us, oh, you're welcome to. I know we had you guys out with us last year and hope to do it again this year. I know that was a great time. It was Commissioner Haste and I also joined by Commissioner Hart where he got yeah. out and uh, stocked some of the streams there yep. in the northern end of the county. That was yep. fantastic. There were some fish there about 10 inches and there were some that were about 22 inches long I believe so there were yeah. some, some pretty big ones there. Yeah with those bigger fish so one of the things we're really fortunate to have in Pennsylvania or in uh, Dauphin County is one of our Keystone Select Stock Trout Waters and it's up at the Wis Wiconisco Creek and these are streams uh, a little over 20 of these statewide one of them here in Dauphin County and we stock um, a higher number of the trophy fish 14 to 20 inches at a rate of about 175 to 225 per mile what you'd see with a really robust wild trout fishery. Um, they're catch and release um, artificial lures. So the nice thing about these streams is you can start fishing for them as soon as the fish are in the water. So you may, we have people that come along, stock with us in the morning, and they're out there in the afternoon. And you probably noticed Tim gave the actual length of the fish. I was going 10 to 20 plus inches. Tim gave more of the realistic length of the fish. Well, keep realistic expectations, but there, there'll be some, some ones there over 20 inches, we're hoping. Yeah, but so it's fun. So, and again, if you do want to uh, fish for trout in Pennsylvania, reminder, you do need a, a trout permit. Um, if you're interested in going fishing this year, Great American Outdoor Show is a terrific place to buy your license. Uh, both of these guys, before we went on camera, uh, were nice enough to buy their fishing licenses. I'm here purchasing my annual fishing license, but you can come and purchase a one-year, three-year, five-year, and ten-year license if you'd like. Okay. Your license. Thank you very much. Good morning. 2020 fishing license makes me a happy guy. Want to switch over a little bit too? I'm I'm somewhat of a we were talking this before more of a river fisherman. Uh, like to drown a few plastic worms every now and then. But uh, tell us about the the health of the river and sure. what's going on there and with the bass population, catfish stuff yep, like that. Yeah, happy to. So the smallmouth bass population, as a lot of people know, really went down the tubes earlier in the 2000s. Um, had some disease issues with the fish. Fortunately, in the last few years, we saw the population rebound. Um, last year, we had really good numbers of young fish, it's called good recruitment into the population. We did see a dip as we went further on in the season with the number of fish that anglers were catching and reporting. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna monitor what the situation is. We're, we're happy that it appeared that we had good spawn last spring. Um, when our biologists were out uh, surveying for walleye later in the year, they did see good smallmouth numbers, uh, but again, it's something we will monitor closely. Um, similarly, I've been getting questions about flathead catfish as they've moved further, uh, further up in the river system uh, from down um, south of here. We're not sure right now what sort of population impact they may be having on the bass, uh, but we have biologists. We actually have a Susquehanna River biologist that what he does is study the river. So we're out there, again, monitoring what the impact of the, um, of the flatheads might be but I'm telling you, people are actually now targeting flatheads in this area. Um, it's become a really, really uh, popular recreational fishery. Yeah, and if, if you catch one, you know, I've heard different stories of what you should do with the flathead, so I don't know if there's if it's something we really should be doing, but they are out there, and for those who haven't, you know, I, I was fortunate enough uh, about three years ago, I 
caught a 42 uh, pound yep. flathead, which to me was a monster of a fish. So I could see why people would want to come catch them. Well, and also uh, I was talking to an um, uh, uh, outfitter from up in the Sunbear area and talked about how good they are to eat. I mean, they're really, really delicious fish to eat. Um, and the walleye, again, walleye are really great, great eating fish. Um, another thing we haven't talked about as much, but musky fishing. Again, this guy, he's from up in Sunbury, but he comes down this far as well. And he, he would argue that the Susquehanna has become the best musky fishery in Pennsylvania. We, a couple years ago, stopped, we used to stock 9 to 10 inch fish. Now we stock them in the 14 to 16 inch range. And it's really helped with their productivity, helped with their survival. So smallmouth bass, catfish, walleye, muskie, I mean, you can't beat the Susquehanna River. And Tim, it may be the first week of February, but we're seeing unseasonable warm yeah. weather right now. It's yep. in fact it's 63 degrees yeah. outside today. Yeah. Uh, we know sometimes folks like to get out a little earlier yep. and might get on their boats right around this time yep. of year out in the Susquehanna or somewhere else. Uh, any boat safety tips for the folks that, as they go out there? Yeah, and frankly, if, if, if the only thing you remember from this interview is wear your life jacket. So in Pennsylvania, we have a mandatory life jacket uh, requirement from November 1st through April 30th for any boat 16 feet or less or any canoe or kayak. The statistics are irrefutable. If you go in the water in the cold weather months, chances are you're not gonna make it. Most of our boating accidents happen in the warmer months, but the fatalities disproportionately happen in the cold weather months. It may be 60 degrees out there today, but the river is freezing. And Tim, you and I have chatted before about this. I want to give a special thank you to Commissioner Haste on behalf of not just us, but all the residents here in Dolphin County, because years ago when this Great American Outdoor Show was about to leave town, this fella stepped up to the plate and made sure that that show stays right here in Dolphin County and right here at the farm show. So, Commissioner, yeah, thank, thank you so you, much. Thank you. Them. Yeah, this is sort of like Christmas for me when I get to come here. So. Yep. But when we were talking about the trout, you know, I want to, and you can elaborate a little bit more, I serve on the Dolphin County Conservation District, yeah. and one of the things, I want to give a, a real shout out to our outdoors folks in Dolphin County, because our we've seen that our water quality in our streams has actually gone up. 11 of the streams, uh, the trout streams, over the last decade have actually improved in water quality. You know, we hear about how water quality is going down, but our folks, our residents of Dolphin County have really taken it serious and improved it. And we were talking a little bit, you're seeing that with the health of the trout as well once they're put in there. Yeah, so I mean, we have anybody who's alive today, there's more fishable waters in Pennsylvania than there's ever been. And if the water quality weren't good, we wouldn't be putting the fish there. It's, right. it's, it's that simple. So we stock 3.2 million trout statewide. Um, we have 12 bodies of water that we stock right here in Dauphin County. Several of them we stock multiple times a year. Another thing people need to realize is in addition to those stock trout, we have a tremendous wild trout population. Right. Now, fishing's about a billion dollar industry in Pennsylvania. Right. It's a big deal. We um, have about 860,000 licensed uh, anglers in Pennsylvania, and it's about three million boaters. And, and I know our, our bass population, you know, 15, 20 years ago, I know folks from out other states that came here. You know, it's funny, I'd be going somewhere else to fish, and they'd say, well, we go there to fish. Yeah. So I, I'm really anxious to get our our bass population back and healthy because we know that that brings folks in here. Yep. If you're an outdoorsman and you like to hike, bite, uh, hunt or fish, take advantage of the great things that we have here in our backyard because folks are coming in from other states because they know about it. Absolutely. It is. So yeah, so thank you guys for, for coming to our booth today. Sure. Thank you for buying your fishing license and um, we'll see you on the water. Yeah, very good. Thank you.